Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2024. I'm delighted to have joining me in the studio today, Paul Duncan, Technical Director at Mena Terminals. Paul, it's such a pleasure to have you with us in the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Could you give us an overview of Mena Terminals and what it does? Uh, Mena Terminals was acquired by the company uh, roughly a year ago. Uh, it's a large terminal uh, in Fijera uh, on the um, Gulf of Oman side. Um, it is roughly 360,000 cubic meters or in simple terms, 360 million liters where we handle both um, uh, clean petroleum products as well as marine fuels. Um, it is an incredibly good terminal with an efficiency rating of number one in the area. That's fantastic. And one of the areas in which you have a lot of expertise is in uh, biofuels. Yes, we do. We, uh, we have an existing terminal in Greece uh, where we supply um, a lot of uh, biodiesel. And basically in line with uh, what is happening with the Middle East and uh, sustainability uh, progression, uh, we've decided to replicate that uh, and add a bit more in terms of not just doing biodiesel and biomarine fuels, but now in fact doing uh, bioaviation fuel, which is very, very exciting for us. And what's been the impact of, of this development? The impact of this development is, uh, one, it's, it's aligning with uh, the focus on climate, uh, with the goals of 2050 net zero. Um, and as far as we're concerned, this is not a nice-to-have uh, 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 project. It's a must-have project. Um, so along, along those lines, I mean, that's why we're f fully committed to it given that the aviation sector contributes roughly 2 to 3% of all uh, global emissions. Uh, and our aim is to play a small part in, in reducing that. And, and well, that's uh, true uh, when you look at it globally. And here in the UAE, your uh, strategies are also aligned with the uh, Net Zero by 2050 initiative. Absolutely. And, and uh, what was very encouraging to see at COP28 is how progressive the UAE was in not just signing up to the protocols, but actively driving them. And uh, we've committed ourselves to align with uh, the UAE's stance on this and, and in our way play a small part in, in, in the transition, not just of this area, the greater area, and, and, and hopefully the entire globe. So we also sit here in an advantageous position where Two of the world's biggest international airlines are based here. Um, we know that they use a lot of fuel. And um, for us, there's a captive market uh, right on our doorstep. And you know, hopefully uh, we, can, we can progress things with, with the various airlines as well as with the, the government stakeholders as well. And are you looking at expanding your uh, expertise in sustainable uh, aviation fuel? Yes, I mean, it's, it's something that, that uh, we want to get this project up and running. We, be, we do believe, strongly believe there's scope to replicate this in other parts of the world. One of the areas we're particularly interested in is East Africa, um, where we see uh, substantial uh, potential for growth. Um, countries like Kenya, Tanzania are showing huge levels of, of, of domestic growth and domestic consumption. So for us, the natural progression, mm. uh, both commercially and geographically, would be to move further down uh, from Fujairah, further down the east coast of Africa. That's uh, great to hear. And finally, we are here at ADIPEC, uh, the world's largest energy event and you are showcasing your portfolio and, and services. Yes, and, I, and, and it's an honor and it's a privilege to be here. Um, the, the feedback and the reception we've got so far has been, has been tremendous. Um, and uh, it's encouraging to know that as much as we believe in what we're doing, uh, the general public and the sector believes in it as well. So we're very excited. Um, but now the real hard work starts. Uh, and... Uh, a lot of the work has already been done, um, so all going well, and we know it will go well. We should be in production by Q1 of 2027. All the best with that, Paul, and it's been such a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you very much and really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow us on social media and at energyconnects.com. I'll be back with more studio interviews from Adipec 2024. Stay tuned.